Hey guys, um, it's been a while again since I've done another uh, 10 gallon reef tank video. Um, I'm not going to be making one again for a little while, that's why I'm making this one, um, because my wife and I are moving, we bought a house, a bigger house, um, and uh, this 10 gallon reef um, will be coming with us obviously, but it will eventually be used as a quarantine tank only for corals and fish because uh, we are upgrading to a 75 gallon tank. Um, I know that I, I pretty much just made this uh, YouTube channel uh, for 10 gallon reef but uh, either I'll keep it what I have 10 gallon reef or I'm just gonna make a new one if I can't change the name which I doubt I can uh, to 75 gallon reef because um, we're pretty sure that's what we want to stick with. Um, we eventually want we originally wanted to go bigger but um, for for the area we want it in the house, we have to just go a little smaller, which is fine with us. 75 gallon. Um, I've talked to a lot of people, and they say you know that that's a great size tank. Um, I I did take a rock out again. I took the big rock of star polyps out. Um, it's because I, I really don't want them in there. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, it, it'll you know we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, it should be a lot of fun. We um, we've been making our own live rock, and I'll I'll, I'll take you downstairs in a second to show you. Um, but we, we're looking forward to getting a lot more fish. Um, we really really enjoy our clownfish, and we hope everything goes well for the move because we're we're not moving that far away from where we live now. Um, but we're looking forward to it because we're going to get a lot more fish, and it'll we just keep joking about how it'll be funny because these two fish. I've never been with any other fish except the fish they were with at the pet store and each other. And they've been with each other for, this tank's been up three years this past March. So uh, it, it, it'll, be, it'll be a lot of fun to see their reaction and just to see them in a bigger tank. Because uh, as you know, it's just a 10 gallon. Um, but I'm just letting you all know that when we move, I'll probably be doing videos on the, 10, uh, the 75 gallon. Um, because we're doing it all from scratch, you know, it's a startup, and we made our own live rock, which is really f cool. It takes more time, but that's right, because my wife and I are very patient, and we got the time right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just exciting, and uh, this aquarium, when we're all done with the fish and corals that we want, more likely, will be just taken down, and be done with it. Um, but that might not be for a while, probably a year or so, just because... Uh, It'll take time, you know, you have to quarantine your fish and stuff for like three weeks. Um, so that's what I'm going to do when when the big tank cycles. I'll probably put some chromis in there to make sure they're okay. And if everything's great and all that, then I add these two. And then when I get like a Royal Grama or Six Lion Wrasse or all the other kinds of fish, Flame Angel, not, not all at once. Um, they have to go in a certain order. Uh, but then get smaller guys and they'll go in here for like three weeks to monitor them make sure they don't bring an ick into the uh, main tank um, I appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed to this one like I said it's not over just you might not hear much from me for a while just because I'm gonna be moving really soon and it's gonna take time because we're gonna be updating the house and I might be really busy this summer um, but like I said when I find the time I'll make more videos um, so, again, thanks for this whole journey. It was fun. The 10 gallon reef. I'll, any of you who always ask me questions about 10 gallon reefs, all I can really say is if you want to start up a reef tank, if you can afford to go bigger, um, go bigger than 10 gallons. Um, I, find, I find 10 gallon reefs um, actually not that hard, even though they are harder. The bigger the tank you have, the easier it is. Um, I get that question a lot of um, people ask, saying they want to start up a 10 gallon reef. And I always tell them, if you can go bigger, go bigger. Because this, like any hobby, it can get expensive. But like any hobby, you don't have to let it get expensive. Um, but just enjoy yourselves and be safe and have fun with it. And I hope you all stay tuned um, for my 75-gallon tank. It should be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun getting new fish um, for these guys and everything else. New new corals. Um I just appreciate um, all your support and everything. So let me take you downstairs quickly to show you our live rock so far. And I'll give you another last look at the Tangal Reef.
Okay, so here we are in my basement. Um, this is some live rock. It's not live yet. Um, it's do it yourself live rock. Live rock. This is uh, this just yesterday, last night, got done curing in our fresh water. These buckets I've had filled with fresh water. There's another one. Um, that that rocks upside down. It looks awesome. It's gonna be a gigantic pillar um, with arches. But uh, here, just to show you, um, here's one rock that we made. Um, you have to cure it in fresh water for for a week, cold fresh water. Do a daily water change, and that's what I did. Um, I've got to do it to this one when I'm done making this video. Um, and then I'm gonna set up. I made the molds in that sandbox pool. I'm gonna fill the. I'm gonna take the sand out soon, fill it with salt water, and get a light over it, and start introducing live rocks and and scoop out a, scoop some sand out of my 10 gallon uh, reef. The sand to get more critters on there and get coralline growing on this because this. This is a nice uh, uh, chunk of live rock, or uh, do-it-yourself live rock. Uh, my first time doing it, I'm not a fan of every one I did, um, but again, it's it's not bad as my first time. Um, this one, it's got more caves and holes, and you can see how porous this is. Uh, there's another one that, that's really nice, and it go, I have holes that go around the whole rock. Um, this one, again, I'm not a fan of, but I made a cave. Um, I put my dead coral incorporated in that live rock. Um, but this by far is probably my favorite piece out of the bunch. And uh, my wife and I aren't going to do what a lot of people do, uh, what they call reef wall. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. That's when you have tons and tons and tons of live rock and pe people just cover their entire back, their entire tank from side to side and almost from, from the very front to almost the very front of the from the very back to almost the very front of the tank with nothing but rock um, and when you're when that's all in there you almost don't have like let's say you had a hundred gallon tank it's almost it's barely 50 gallons for the fish to swim in I've seen a lot of those and I've gone to a lot of coral seminars um, I've talked with a lot of doc guys who have the doctorates that are in this field who make stuff for reef tanks who who work at University of Colorado and their tanks at home are low main they're uh, low tech and they have they have nothing like the reef wall. They're all pillars, and that's what I'm going with. Lots of space. You'll see it. And uh, and plenty of fish in the tanks, and they're all doing great. Um, so that's a little funny looking because you're looking at the bottom. When this is in the tank, you won't see that. But uh, that's what that's what we're doing. Um, it's going to be more boomies and uh, rock structure pillars, not the whole reef wall, because we want the fish to be able to swim all around and the coral to grow nicely without having to have all rock, more rock than even water practically. So that's, that's what we're going to do. I know a lot of people are old fashioned and they still go the other way. I, I see videos on YouTube all the time saying you need more live rock, you need this, you need that. It's, mm, that's really not the case. So, Alright, well, thanks for watching guys and uh, take care.